think about the poor teachers you have known and please try to remember how they taught obviously you would say that they did not demonstrate something their teaching was dull their teaching was unstimulating they didn't have control on their class because many a times those teachers failed to convince the students and in fact they were poor communicators so important aspect of good teaching is efficient communication and efficient communication present the ideas coherently it present meaningful messages they interpret the intended meaning correctly emphasize important or relevant aspects of subject matter and establish positive relationship with students isn't it so in this particular session we will focus on the concept of communication you see many times we make certain assumptions about the speaker about the content or about the different person let me tell you assumptions are the termites for any relationship so the best pesticide for it is communication now you see who needs to know what i now know this question comes to your mind who knows what i need to know now answer to these two questions is through information when you share information and communication plays a very important role in any organization it is very important for success in any profession any organization as a manager that is uh, you are the hod of your department you are primarily a communicator in a classroom as a teacher you are mainly primarily a communicator so you need to share ideas with your students with your colleagues sometimes you are asked to present proposal to your hod or sometimes you indulge in negotiating agreements or contract with other fellow friends or with other organization or maybe the supplier you are also required to understand the needs of customers now in your case the customers are your students as a teacher or as a hod you need to identify the problems and of course you need to make effort to solve those problems sometimes you are providing instruction you are interacting with your colleagues or you see members of other department to obtain relevant information sometimes you conduct meeting to coordinate the performance of a team of colleagues and friends communication is very very important in all these aspects in all these areas so communication means a process of achieving understanding between people it is a process of achieving understanding between people if say i am telling you something and you are able to reproduce exactly 100% as per my instruction it means you have really got the information you have understood so this word has been taken from a latin word communis which means common so it refers to the you see serial of contact person it's a continuous process of telling ordering commanding listening questioning answering maine aapko example diya i am telling you something and if you are able to reproduce as per my way it means now through communication i have tried to establish a degree of commonness with you another latin word is communis which means to share till it becomes a common property of both the communicator and the receiver if both are at the same platform it means the communication has really taken place that is communication that that is establishing a degree of commonness with your colleague so it involves many activities you are telling you are ordering it means in uh, communication is there you are commanding you are listening you are questioning you are answering all these involve communication so it's a continuous process another definition by famous management expert some of all things one person does when he or she wants to create understanding in the mind of another person speaking 
listening that is verbal as well as non verbal communication anything you want to do to create understanding in the mind of another person is communication that is why i said it is a process of achieving understanding between people so some of all things i told you that is uh, you are telling you are listening or uh, you are trying to understand hi mau it is the process of passing information from one person to another it means it is a process of uh, importing ideas and making oneself understood by others so it means the communication begins with the conception of idea the idea may be vague or unorganized you try to put that idea into a proper shape then you present the idea and the other person receives or he or she gives feedback to the communicator if there is some wrong or flaw in the communication so process of passing information process of importing ideas making oneself understood by others it is an exchange of idea facts opinions or emotion by two or more person so it means it is a process of transferring information transferring idea transferring feeling and understanding from one person to another person that is what we mean by communication transmission of information ideas skills by the use of symbols words pictures figures graphs etc so if you are using the familiar vocabulary it will convey the message sharp it will reach the audience correctly but if the message includes difficult vocabulary that is you have not uh, you see considered the level of your audience while speaking sometimes uh, as a hod or as a teacher i try to use very difficult vocabulary my purpose is to impress upon my students or my colleagues with the use of bombastic language i need to use the words which are quite understandable to your audience so as a teacher before you speak something you need to know who the other person is what is or her background is accordingly you will use the proper language so word pictures mm -hmm. figures and graphs they are very helpful in facilitating or in understanding the message of the communicator it is the process by which we understand others and in turn endeavor to be understood by them isn't it so it is dynamic communication is constantly changing and it is shifting in response to the total situation now what the management expert peter drucker has said about communication the most important thing in communication is hearing what is not said means both verbal and non verbal component are very much essential you can have brilliant idea but if you cannot get them across your ideas won't get you anywhere so is me you need not hesitate in using a particular language with which you are not comfortable you can use your own language you can use your mother tongue the idea is to make the message clear to the audience you have got the idea you need to put it in front of your audience uska koi fayda nahi hai if you are not able to present your idea no robert frost he said half the world is composed of people who have something to say and cannot and the other half who have nothing to say keep on saying it you will agree with me now communication is used in various aspects of our working life when you are making a presentation in front of your students that is when you are delivering a lecture or when you are presenting a proposal in front of your hod or management or when you are negotiating with the, the supplier or the vendor or you are negotiating with your colleagues or you need to know how to write a letter how to address the person the communication is also used to influence your colleague or the other party cross cultural communication you need to know the non verbal aspects of different culture people win win conversation or when you are selling something or that is you are demonstrating something 
or when it is uh, you are involved in teamwork so it is very useful very important to all the activities which we carry out every day and uh, basically there are three common ways to communicate one is speaking another is through writing third is through reading and visual images will supplement your body language will also supplement and your listening is very important while speaking to the other individual that is very important now before we come to the process of communication let us have a look at the broad objectives of communication as i told you that the broad objective is to share information that is uh, to transmit information as a teacher you are delivering the content in the classroom you are giving rules you are providing the regulations guidelines that is uh, information sharing second is to give feedback to your colleague or to the students on their achievement or you have said something the other person is not able to understand you need to clarify that involves communication now how to give feedback is a very important aspect because it involves communication say one of your student is always giving his or her assignment very good assignment but this time the assignment contains some spelling error now you will call him rameshi every time you have been submitting a very good assignment but this time your assignment contains some spelling error it means as a teacher i am trying to give him positive feedback i am trying to give him opportunity to improve upon so what he or she will do next time before submitting the assignment he or she will incorporate spell check the idea is to avoid future criticism now there is another way of giving feedback ramesh this work is typical of you short of facts and badly presented it means i am directly attacking the individual jab maine kaha ki yaar jaisa tumhara shakal waisa kaam leke aayega this kind of feedback will not be accepted by your colleague or your student when you are giving feedback you please don't attack the individual you see even a good person can produce some poor work the idea is to point out the poor work and not the person another is to control information you see is transmitted to ensure that the plans are being carried out according to the original design so communication helps in ensuring such control and you can call it as a monitoring mechanism also so communication controls behavior of the members of the classroom or the behavior of the colleagues or communication is carried out while coordinating the activities with other departments you are also motivating them motivation also involves communication influence purpose is to resolve conflicts the purpose is to influence your colleague your students so as a hod you communicate to create a good climate right attitude congenial environment in the department likewise congenial teaching learning climate in the classroom another purpose is to solve problem so communication aims at solving problem and on the basis of problem solving you make certain decision you arrive at a decision so for decision making you can use different kinds of communication like exchange of information you view the alternatives which are available you implement one alternative see the result second alternative see the result and then compare the outcomes of various alternatives and then make a decision which alternative is best or cost effective in solving the problem through communication you can facilitate change you, you see you want to introduce certain idea now the idea is not acceptable to the audience or your colleague first you give the rationale you provide them the importance of introducing a change so when they are convinced they will definitely accept to that particular change so introduction of change depends to a large extent on the clarity as well as on the spontaneity of the communication team building or group building it helps to build linkages of the institution with other members now coming to kinds of communication you see in any organization people at same level communicate among themselves they communicate with the people at higher level also people at lower level 
the information may flow from top to bottom or from bottom to top or flow among people at the same level so it means in any organization three types of communication is existing firstly it is a downward communication that takes place between the head of the institution or and the teacher or between a teacher and a student so when a principal or head of the institution sends a message to teacher or the staff or the learner that is downward communication it may include providing job instructions or providing directions about what to do or how to do it or when you enter the classroom you will never say today my topic is this today why i will teach about this thing today i will explain today i will discuss no when you begin your lecture with this kind of remark today my lecture is this today i am going to talk to you about this thing student will say sir this is your headache please go and break your head it means as a teacher you need to explain the rationale because students want to know why they are sitting in the classroom so let me give you one example say i have to introduce a topic on inertia one way is that i'll say i am going to talk to you about inertia i my topic is in a, no no this is not the right way now what you can do is you can place one object on the table and ask your student about the position of this object whether it is at rest or is it in motion definitely you will get the answer that this object is and is at rest you simply reinforce them by saying wonderful now you can switch on the fan and ask the student, student about the state of fan they'll say it is in motion wonderful now this object is at rest how can we put it into motion they will say sir by pushing or by pulling that is by applying some force it can be put into motion wonderful suppose you are sitting in a moving bus and the driver suddenly applies brakes what happens so we go forward good and what happens when the driver suddenly starts the bus so we go back why are these due to now the students are quite curious this is a topic for a student of class 6 then you say that these are due to laws of inertia so today in this session we will learn laws of inertia then go to board and write laws of inertia and on the left hand side give them an overview that first of all in this session we will learn inertia of rest inertia of motion inertia of direction and then the example so by explaining the rationale of the topic you are trying to uh, make your teaching learning very much interesting so you are giving the uh, instructions about policies procedures rules practices sometimes you uh, give uh, the oral presentation but i would say that if the uh, rule or instruction is very important then it must be sent through written mode because written communication is much more reliable than the oral communication because everybody can read the message at his or her own level at his or her own speed so because when you are speaking orally there are person who are slow listener they may fail another is information about how effectively a person is performing or in doctrination that is uh, information which is aimed at motivating students or your teachers or your staff by impressing upon the institution's mission upon them and specifying how they should relate to it so this is uh, regarding downward communication but friends there are certain problems with the downward communication one is lack of awareness that is uh, when the people do not know about all types of downward communication even the person who is sending the message or receiving the message another problem with downward communication is lack of feedback about what and how the information is received you see when you are making a presentation that is you are sending the information down to your students you don't ask questions you don't get feedback or if someone tries to raise his or her hand to get the clarification you say sit down please let me finish it first so lack of feedback another is that message is not clear message is insufficient when i ask my student answer one question what are newton's laws of motion now this question can be interpreted differently by different students 
one student thinks that let me write the statement of all the three laws because the question is what are Newton's laws of motion and the student thinks okay let me explain each of the three laws with one example each another student tries to explain the three laws with two examples each naturally when it comes to marking the student who has uh, explained with two examples will get full marks and the other student who has simply stated the three laws will get less marks now message is incomplete it is insufficient now you can improve upon it you can say describe each of three Newton's laws of motion with one example now the message is quite clear now it will be understood by all the students clearly and sometimes the message is overload you have passed on number of information many information to your subordinate but he has not brought any piece of paper with him and even you have not provided him some piece of paper that will create problem message overload i'll give you one more example many times head of the department or the principal sends some communication to the subordinate with remark ramesh ji please discuss or please speak a letter has to over head of the institution and likh diya please discuss normally we get this kind of uh, remarks from the hod or from the principal now as a individual maine us kagaz ko apne drawer mein rakh diya do din ke baad maine usko nikala and i went to my boss when i told him sir you have called me for discussion pehle to wo mujhe fire karta hai aap abhi aaye ho usi samay kyon nahi aaye sir aapne you have not mentioned about the date and time of discussion okay to kyunki maine likha nahi meri galti hai तो मैं उसको बोलता हूँ ओके चलो अब आप आयो क्या आपने ये किया वो किया सर यू हैव नॉट टोल्ड मी हैड आई रिटर्न ए कंप्लीट मैसेज दैट आई एम सेंडिंग यू वन प्रपोजल प्लीज मेक ए कंपेरेटिव चार्ट एंड कम टू माय चैम्बर टुमारो एट इलेवन ओ क्लॉक फॉर डिस्कशन तो कितना टाइम सेव हो जाता कितने एफर्ट सेव हो जाते तो मैसेज कई बार इनसफिशेंट होता है और मैसेज क्लियर नहीं होता जिसकी वजह से इसमें प्रॉब्लम आती है अनदर इज डिले ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ टाइम कंज्यूमिंग ग्रेटर आर द चांस ऑफ डिले विद द इंक्रीज इन द लेवल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन कई बार बहुत सारे चैनल्स होते हैं जहां से वो वो जो मैसेज है वो डाउन जाता है यानी प्रिंसिपल से एचओडी के पास गया एचओडी एक दिन छुट्टी पर था एचओडी ने उसको मार किया फैकल्टी को फैकल्टी ने आगे कम्युनिकेट करना है टेक्निकल स्टाफ को तो इट शुड गो डायरेक्टली टू द पर्सन another is filtering that is uh, you are withholding some valuable information from your colleague aur jitna part unko batana hai utna hi aap unko batate ho aur baki information jo hai wo chhipate ho and uh, serial transmission as information passes from one person to another usually it becomes less accurate like whispering a message to the person adjacent to you who will do the same to the next main agar aapke sath ye chinese whisper game khelu and you will definitely agree that the person who receives the message will totally distorted message let me give you one example now the colonel has given a message to the major the message you read it it is very comprehensible very simple at 9 tomorrow there will be an eclipse of the sun something that doesn't occur every day so get the men to fall out in the company street in their fatigues so that they will see this rare phenomenon and i will explain it to them and in case of rain we will not be able to see anything so take the men to the gym so this is very simple message and very clear message so uh, oral message was sent to major by the colonel then major has uh, conveyed the same message to his lower captain the major has included one remark by order of the colonel tomorrow at 9 there will be an eclipse of the sun otherwise bhi lagna tha he says by order of the colonel because unke habit hai and if it rains you will not be able to see it from the company streets so then in fatigue the eclipse will take place in the gym something that doesn't occur every day dekhiye message wahi hai वर्ड्स को घुमा फिरा के उन्होंने बोला जब ओरल मैसेज होता है अब कैप्टन जो है वो लेफ्टिनेंट को बोलता है बाई ऑर्डर ऑफ द कर्नल इन फिटी अब उसने अपनी तरफ से एक ऐड कर दिया टुमारो एट नाइन द इनग्रेशन ऑफ द इक्लिप्स ऑफ द सन विल टेक प्लेस इन द जिम अपने आप ऐड कर दिया 
the colonel will give the order if it should rain something that occurs every day a lieutenant to sergeant he said tomorrow at 9 the colonel in fatigues fatigues uniform hoti hai will eclipse the sun in the gym just see and if it is a nice day if it rains then then he will do it in the company street now sergeant to the corporal he says tomorrow at 9 the eclipse of the colonel in fatigues will take place because of the sun if it rains in the gym something that doesn't occur every day you will fall out in the company street ab ek jawan dusre jawan ko kya bolta hai he says tomorrow if it rains it looks as if the sun will eclipse the colonel in the gym wonderful it's a shame this doesn't occur every day now in this case there is information loss and the content is changed because when it passes from one person to another the person receiving the message at the end would get the distorted message unclear message so if the message is important and you want that every member of the organization should receive the same message it should send through written mode because written communication is the cheapest and reliable method aur aajkal to whatsapp hai whatsapp group group create kiya ja sakta hai and you can send the information or you any message through whatsapp now coming to the upward communication from the title itself it is clear that this occurs when message flow from lower to top that is uh, in case of class learners to teacher and in the department or in the organization from the teacher to the head of the institution so basically the benefit is that uh, provides feedback on how accurately downward messages have been received or indicating how well the management decisions are being received so seeking suggestions for improvement jaise for example ab maine ek project proposal banaya some i have submitted to my boss and i am asking him to please uh, give me some suggestions for improvement problem being faced grievances disputes performance appraisal etc now there are problems with upward communication also the most important one is the risk risk involved with upward communication that is the subordinate is willingly distorting the message because of the fear if he or she tells the original fact to his or her boss he may fire him he may face some problems you are not able to express frustration with your project so aap message ko distort karke jo acha acha portion hai wo cheez aap jo hai wo apne boss ko batate ho reality nahi batate that is risk so message uh, jo hai wo distort karke aap unko dete ho another problem uh, with the upward communication is of a limited communication medium available to lower level people higher level people like uh, principal hod they often use multiple communication channels like phone calls letters memos meetings other methods but in appropriate communication medium can create confusion for individual receiving the message again filtering also occurs here also when message pass through intermediary in the communication channel yani jaise maan lijiye maine apne boss ko bola address kiya maine head of the institution ko it passes through the section in charge then head of the department to kuch cheeze jo hai wo usme alter kar dete hain so altering the original message will limit its effectiveness or it will render it incomprehensible or bypassing you see in the process of upward communication sometimes the teacher directly approaches the head of the institution so authority with their suggestion or bypassing their immediate boss yani hod ko bypass kar diya ये भी प्रॉब्लम आती है लैक ऑफ इनिशिएटिव जनरली सबॉर्डिनेट इज रिलेक्टेंट टू टेक द इनिशिएटिव टू अपवर्ड कम्युनिकेशन फॉर वन रीजन और दर रीजन और फ्लैटरी दैट इज इन ऑर्डर टू कन्विंस द एच ओडी और बॉस दबॉर्डिनेट ट्राइज टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ फ्लैटरी 
and for this reason he or she may conceal the truth and provide incomplete information to the top level person education or experience upward communication faces a barrier when lower level person or employees have different educational background than the seniors requesting feedback so employees may also have misunderstood the original message from the lack of uh, understanding of education or experience to so, ye bhi ek problem hai then cultural differences can affect the language in message flowing through upward channel to message so this barrier can be more prevalent in those organizations with global operations large international workforces or diverse local economic labor market etc the third one is the horizontal or the lateral communication so this consists of uh, messages between the members of an organization with equal power same power that is between teachers or between hods or between learners and uh, the examples could be task coordination uh, when i say let's get together this afternoon and make drawing sheet so coordinating activities with other depart problem solving it takes two days for us to complete drawing how can we uh, speed things up this is another conflict resolution i have heard that you are complaining about my work to the hod if you are not happy i wish you would tell me first to me to so, ye ek uh, ho, ho sakta hai building rapport ya sharing information now there are problems with horizontal communication also one is the rivalry within the organization occurs for example when the different level of an organization fail to cooperate with one another this occurs between individuals and teams can lead to reluctance to cooperate nahi karte they don't want to share ki we mai usko information bata diya for example say i have got a paper published in sci journal now i would i would not uh, share it with my colleague once it is published i'll tell him ki mera publish ho gaya kaise publish hua wo nahi bataya wo aap maan lijiye maine i have written one paper and i am questioning my colleague please uh, isko aap go through kar kijiye aur uh, मुझे अपनी फीडबैक दीजिए इसे व्हाट फॉर मेरा इसमें कंट्रीब्यूशन मेरा इसमें क्या नाम आएगा राइट right? कई बार हम कोई बुक परचेज करते हैं वी नेवर शो टू आवर कुलीग कि भी उसको नहीं पता चलना चाहिए सो दिस इज राइवलरी देन टेरिटोरियलिटी इसका मतलब होता है कि दिस अकर्स व्हेन मेंबर्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिगार्ड अदर पर्सन इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन हिज और हर area as inappropriate or unwelcome yani bina matlab ki involvement wo show kar raha hai wo apne territory se bahar nikal ke dusre mein ghusne ki koshish kar raha hai lack of motivation horizontal communication often fails simply because the members of the department or the organization are unwilling to share additional effort or expend additional effort to reach out beyond their immediate team to others at the same level then information overload is another problem with the lateral communication then uh, uh, problem of specialization mera colleague hai usko pata hai to wo puri story pura process mujhe explain for example main uh, assistant professor hu uh, say education management mein theek hai and i have some problem with the computer system आई गो टू माई कुलीग इन कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट की भी ये प्रॉब्लम आया वो आएगा उसको ठीक कर देगा बट ही विल नेवर टेल अस कि भी इसको कैसे करना है क्योंकि तो उसकी स्पेशलाइजेशन है हैं तो मुझे शेयर करना चाहिए एंड डैम केयर स्पिरिट इज आल्सो लाइकली टू बी इनकरेज बिकॉज ऑफ अनकलियर चैनल पता नहीं है रूल्स ऑफ इंटरेक्शन पता नहीं तो दीज आर दी प्रॉब्लम विद दी हॉर्जेंटल कम्युनिकेशन now there are two ways of communication one is one way communication that is one way communication is a method of delivering instruction by use of one way communication usually by talking at the individual jaise se aap lecture classroom mein de rahe hain mainly uh, it is one way you are trying to pour the information into the minds of students 
और इस तरह का लेक्चर जो है इट इज वेरी इजी टू प्लान एंड ऑर्गेनाइज यू कैन कवर मोर कंटेंट मैटर इन लेस टाइम एंड यू डोंट हैव एनी फियर ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग दी लेक्चर बिकॉज क्योंकि आपको पता है कि अगर क्लासरूम में कोई बच्चा क्वेश्चन पूछेगा तो यू विल स्नैप इन दैट इज वन वे कम्युनिकेशन वन वे कम्युनिकेशन में देर इज ए प्रॉब्लम दैट दी लिसनर विल सिट एज पैसिव लिसनर ही इज इन एक्टिव तो बहुत सारी कम्युनिकेशन उसके माइंड के ऊपर से निकल जाती है एंड ही हैज गॉट सर्टन डाउट्स एंड दो डाउट्स डोंट गेट क्लैरिफाइड फ्रॉम दी टीचर सो वन वे कम्यू सो टू वे कम्युनिकेशन मीन्स वेन यू आर टॉकिंग बाई यू आर ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्विंग दी अदर पर्सन आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माई लेक्चर बाई दी यूज ऑफ वन वे कम्युनिकेशन मैथड अगर ये कॉन्टैक्ट मोड में लेक्चर होता तो मैं आपको अपने जेस्टर्स भी दिखाता आई ट्राई टू राइट समथिंग ऑन दी बोर्ड आई ट्राई टू आस्क यू क्वेश्चन नाउ इवन योर फेसेज आर नॉट विजिबल टू मी my face is also not visible to me this, this is sort of one way communication and it has got number of problems so we need to have two way communication and then it can be verbal communication it is also non verbal communication in case of non verbal communication one is uh, body language that reveals many of our most in intimate feelings whether we intend to confide them or not body language se pata chalta hai आई कॉन्टेक्ट से पता चलता है एंड अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट कम्युनिकेशन इज नॉन वर्बल फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन वॉइस टोनैलिटी जेस्टर्स प्रोक्सीमिक्स ये सारे जो हैं नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन के कंपोनेंट्स हैं बेसिकली लैंग्वेज स्किल्स इंक्लूड द रिसेप्टिव एंड प्रोडक्टिव रिसेप्टिव मीन्स लिसनिंग एंड रीडिंग प्रोडक्टिव मीन्स स्पीकिंग एंड राइटिंग एंड अदर सब स्किल्स इंक्लूड ग्रामर वोकेबलरी प्रोनाउंसिएशन चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड इकोनॉमी नॉन ये सारे जो हैं ये आपकी लिसनिंग को अफेक्ट करती है से यू आर यूर सेंटेंसेज आर ग्रामेटिकली रॉन्ग तो जो टीचर या जो स्टूडेंट जो है ग्रामेटिकली uh, साउंड है उसकी लिसनिंग वहीं अटक जाती है नॉ कमिंग टू वेरियस चैनल्स फॉर various types of communication it could be face to face telephonic electronic mail or um, social media means uh, facebook whatsapp twitter instagram then letters and memo formal reports and bulletin these are the channels for various types of communication and uh, uh, communication is likely to be effective Uh, if you see his message is perceived by the receiver the way the sender has intended it means communis means making the common property between the sender and the receiver when it becomes a common possession then communication is effective now coming to the process of communication this is the linear concept who says what on which channel to whom with what effect the sender is sending the message through some media message is received by the receiver and he is uh, supposed to take some action let me explain the process you see in a model of communication let us distinguish between the sender and the receiver there are two person involved one is sender another is receiver now send who is the sender sender is the author of the message who is the receiver he or she is the person who accepts and interprets the message but in a two way communication the teacher is not always the sender the student is not always the, the receiver there are role reversals now you see sender is mainly responsible for the formulation of message encoding of message transmission of message and the receivers they decode the message receiver tries to attempt to interpret the message transmits signal back to the sender in the form of feedback and then you see sender receives the feedback he responds to the receiver he tries to correct or supplement the content of the original message to suit the particular needs of the receiver you see message teacher ne formulate kiya he has used some language 
send the message and uh, if the message contains the familiar vocab vocabulary then message would be interpreted correctly by the receiver in case they have caught some doubt now the receiver becomes the sender he has got some doubt he encodes that or uh, that uh, he puts some uh, language to the doubt and then transmit and then the teacher he gets the feedback from the uh, receiver because originally he was a receiver now he is the sender now the teacher will become the receiver okay so all communication starts with some idea or some uh, message so the sender formulates an idea or you can say a set of ideas for transmitting to the audience now the idea often is vague or unorganized and uh, the sender he encodes the message that is converts that message or idea into a form that can be understood or transmitted to the receiver what does encoding mean encoding means representing idea in appropriate language which may take verbal symbolic pictorial diagrammatic form yani aap ppt bhi bana sakte ho sath mein so while mess encoding messages you need to use common language and a good teacher always encode his or her idea in various ways according to needs of the learner and the demands of the curricula now message transmission this is the third you see first two steps they are on how the sender prepares the message now this step will discuss transfer of message across the physical barrier between sender and receiver so the sender has to choose an appropriate channel or mode of presentation it could be auditory that is spoken language it could be visual that is body movement uh, some text written on the board diagram pictures video or kinesthetic that is the communication by feel or touch or combination of all these now the message is decoded it means receivers are now required to extract or interpret messages that have been transmitted through one or more channels of communication so if receivers know the form of language used or message has clarity they will be able to both decode and comprehend message easily so receivers must have adequate background knowledge of the topic in order to comprehend the message so friend message decoding is an active process that require attention and concentration on the part of the learner and in our case receiver that is receiver now feedback or evaluation this is the last stage in the communication process this involves the receiver reacting to transmitted message that is uh, he wants to convey the response to the sender now he will become the sender so feedback is usually available to sender immediately after the message has been transmitted so there could be some noise component noise factors can interfere with the exchange of message noise may be physical like sound of say traffic on the road or aapke corridor mein se koi nikal ke ja raha hai or someone is uh, taking one uh, almira out or physiological like uh, hearing disorder has severe headache hai individual ko or noise may be psychological like uh, uh, one uh, student is preoccupied or he has hostility or he has some fear etc and that is uh, the environment so every communicator inhibits a unique environment including personal history that each person brings to a communication transaction now there is role reversal of sender and receiver so when a sender transmits a message to the receiver the receiver responds to the message by providing feedback to the sender this is two way communication so for receiving the feedback there is a role reversal and the original sender now becomes the receiver so for every primary sender is also a receiver and every receiver is also a sender so communication is a process that is every communication event has to be considered as a part of continuing ever changing process and the meaning of a message depends partly on what has happened before so each message is part of a process it doesn't occur in isolation now i am saying communication is irreversible what does it mean 
our words once uttered are recorded in others memories and we cannot erase them it is not possible to take back the words once uttered so therefore very essential that one should weigh the words carefully because the receiver may forgive but he will never forget those words that is why there is one saying think before you speak so the you can see the power of words you see a careless word may kindle strife a cruel word may wreck life a bitter word may hate install a brutal word may smite and kill a gracious word may smooth the way a joyous word may light the way a timely word may lessen stress a loving word may heal and bless this is by karstein now let us have a look at the principles of effective communication firstly as a teacher or as a sender you are required to be proficient transmitter of knowledge and receptive learners so teachers need to be proficient transmitter of knowledge as well as you need to know the skills of listening also so to be efficient communicator essential for teacher to develop particular personal quality like attitude for enhancing the personal then develop a positive attitude to all students all colleagues and show trust in their actions or intentions so positive attitude mutual trust very essential if teacher and student are to communicate effectively in learning situation so effective interpersonal communication requires responsible and caring relationship you have to be friendly you have to show patience with your colleagues with your students because uh, efficient communication is not possible in a hostile or threatening kind of environment maybe in the classroom maybe in the department you see students need to feel at ease in the presence of teacher and even a good teacher always enter the classroom with an attitude that i am going to enjoy my students and not with an attitude or oh, today again there is a class now to be friendly doesn't mean that teacher has to lose control of classroom discipline he has to be firm but at the same time maintain a friendly attitude do not talk down to student students value those teachers who treat them as individuals deserving of respect jaise maine bola ramesh ji please to answer this question or ramesh has answered the question correctly ramesh ji you have said very rightly you are wonderful ramesh ji so as a teacher put in some effort and try to remember the names of your student because a person name is to him or her the most important and most sweetest sound ye communication ke liye bahut zaruri hai and you see inexperienced teacher they try to project an image of superiority in class jaise ki mujhe hi sab kuch aata hai you should open to the ideas from your students you should show willingness to learn while delivering lecture also then understand your students by becoming knowledgeable of their background characteristics you see communication is more likely to be satisfactory if the teacher knows the attitude the skills the interest of students and because in a communication process teacher is formulating the message so formulation of message or encoding of message require the knowledge of your students unka level kya hai kya sare vocabulary se sound hai if not you need to use sometime the mixed language then smile at them student respond best to those who readily demonstrate ease and assurance in interpersonal communication smile is an inexpensive way i think to improve your looks always enter the classroom with an attitude i am going to enjoy my group so smile at them try to relate the content with examples from their daily life and omit irrelevant or superfluous information from your message simple language avoid technical jargon give clear precise unambiguous direction to the student jaise maine question pucha to question mein clarity honi chahiye if i ask explain the working principle of carburetor of an ic engine and if i want them to write the diagram also then you say explain with a neat sketch the working principle of carburetor of an ic engine speak clearly vary the tone pitch when communicating uh, to your students you can use variety of uh, 
channels of communication to facilitate transmission of message skill of stimulus variation as a communicator it include number of component first is purposeful movements means never stand stationary in the classroom ki aap lecture stand ke upar khade ho gaye and you are delivering the lecture and since there is no change in your posture naturally there will be no change in students posture they will tolerate you for some time and after they will experience fatigue so bring purposeful movement slowly you go move to the left side stand there address that section of the audience then move slowly to the right side or maybe in between to so purposeful movement second is meaningful gestures maine ek teacher ko dekha he he tries to break one chalk into two pieces then two pieces into four pieces and tries to play with um, uh, with those chalks these are distractors meaningful gesture means when you say that rain boy is like this so your hand should move accordingly third is change in your voice change in pitch and tone of your when you say these are due to laws of inertia so laws of inertia ko apne zor se bola and pausing then change in interactional pattern you are speaking now you stop for a little while invite one or two question or you can ask one or two question now they will participate oral visual switching oral involves sense of hearing visual involves sense of sight you have told something their sense of hearing is involved you go to board and write some important component now their sense of sight will be involved or you have brought some video or uh, ppt so oral visual switch and then also maintain an eye contact with each and every student sitting in the class and occasionally you can ask your student to note down important points you can ask question you can clarify students uh, point, uh, doubts or uh, sometime you need to repeat the important point you have to sequence the message properly before you deliver your lecture pehle ye dena hai fir ye dena hai fir abrupt nahi hona chahiye there should be a some plan you have to listen carefully you have to be empathetic use more than one channel you, there should be clarity in your message clarity in your voice modulation the message should be adequate it should not be uh, insufficient and try to use a few words in explaining the content that is economize the content and then pay an attention to each and every student sitting in the classroom so this is regarding the principles of effective communication